Welcome back, everybody. It is time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTO mailbox. And our theme today for the three items is jewelry. But Dr. Lori, it looks like you're into Barbie and Play-Doh today. I love all the toys. Yeah, well, a lot of toys. I've had a lot of interviews about Barbie and the values of Barbies ahead of the new Barbie movie coming out in July. Yes. So Barbie's on the table. <laughs> Very timely. All right, let's get to a subject, though, uh, that I know is near and dear to your heart, and that is jewelry. <laughs> and so there's a jewelry set we're looking at first here, and it was sent in by Bonnie. Tell us about it, Dr. Lori. I love the jewelry because it can remind you of a place that you've been, where you bought something, or, you know, something handed down from mom or grandma. I love the jewelry. It's great. And it holds value very well. Green glass beads, earrings and necklace set, dates to the 1940s, 1950s, looking back at the 1920s. Oh. So it's not from the 20s, but it's a very nice example from the 1940s. Earrings and necklace set, um, green glass, probably made in Germany um, with this, what's called a station necklace. All those individual um, beads, glass beads that that repeat. It's like a station and depots, like when you ride the train. So that's what each one is called. We usually call those station necklaces with the matching huh. hanging earrings. I love jewelry. <laughs> so. Now it's hard to see because the picture is a little small. But these are this is all beads. There's no like. Is there gold holding it together or something? It, it looks like there are little metal filigree, which is punched out or pierced metal balls, very small ones, and small light green glass beads as well. Yes, the photo is small. However, it's also not on a very good contrasting background. But that's okay. I mean, we work with the photos. Is this considered costume jewelry? Considered costume jewelry because it's glass. Yes, Heather. Okay. Hmm. All right, I have, I have an answer. <sighs> Just been doing so badly at this game lately. I said $85. I said $62. Worth $85. See? Like, I think Heather has some sort of special intuition. I swear, she's gotten really, really good at this game. I'm just paying very attention, David. She's a girl who likes jewelry. She knows jewelry. She's pretty okay. and she's smart. <laughs> All right, yeah. next, we have a bracelet sent in by Morgan. Morgan Ooh. sent in this bracelet, with, which, is made, which is marked Urbach Jewelry. It's hand-carved ivory. Ooh. You can tell that it's ivory by the way in which you see striations on the actual material. It's a floral bracelet, dates to the 1950s, and those are, of course, roses, each one individually carved. Now, I have a question about this, because ivory, we know, uh, is not a good material any longer, the way that it's sourced. Um, so does that well, change things? Well, there's a couple things about ivory, just so we can get this straight. Okay. A lot of people say you're not allowed to sell ivory. Ivory, in fact, um, the ivory that was poached from elephants is illegal to resell. So we're trying to maintain and, of course, sustain that, that particular animal, that, that species. Okay. Right. But ivory that's earlier, that can be actually dated back to the early 1900s, is an antique piece and was not sourced the same way. I see. So, oh. okay. There, but, but you're right that there are con there is controversy surrounding yeah. ivory, but we can put a value to it. Okay. Very good question. Though, well, I just I wondered, wondered the if same that thing. changed the value exactly. for the better or the worse. I would think that people may want to avoid purchasing it right. or reselling it. Okay. Absolutely right. Mm. Right. Okay. A little harder. I got a number. Okay. What did you say? I said 120. I said $40. One hundred and fifty dollars wow. is what it's worth. Oh okay. my gosh! Yeah. I got one. This is the first time in weeks. No, it's oh, not. You've had no. points before. <laughs> well, I mean before, but like the last three weeks, she's been on a roll, red hot. This well, woman. Well, she's been on a roll. It's yeah. her turn, and you should buy more jewelry. <laughs> then you know. <laughs> All right. The last one is a tie tack. We've seen the image here. There we go. This is. This is a Whitman's sampler. Do you oh. see the little Whitman sampler uh, delivery sure. man? Sure. Yeah, yep. I remember yeah. that guy. It's a retirement tie tack, 14 karat gold from the mid 1900s, about the 1950s. And apparently, uh, Patricia's family member was actually the person who re Patricia sent it in, and, and that family member actually received the retirement tie tack from working at Whitman. So, pretty cool. Oh, okay. I like that. I mean, that, that is so sweet yeah. and so unique. And anyone who remembers, like, a Whitman sampler or still buys one today, you know. 
That's, I that buy adds them a little for extra many, value. For many occasions. I think they're a lot of fun. I like to match them up, and people like them, and you know, it kind of serves everybody, right? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. I went a little everybody higher. Something you like. I said 175, just because of the 14 karat gold. I, I mm. may be wrong. All right. See, I good, think now I thinking. wish I could add a one to the front of mine. I said $85. One hundred and ninety dollars. The fourteen Whoa, karat gold. Wow. That's impressive. But I'm glad it's worth that much because it's it's like nostalgia. It reminds me of like my childhood. We always had Whitman samplers. Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. Advertising collectible as well as of course the jewelry, the fourteen karat gold, and a retirement piece is nice to see. You know, someone spent a lot of time working in a particular place. Fun game today. Thank you. It was and congratulations, Heather. Well done. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, David. See you later, Barbie girl. Bye. Bye, Dr. Lori. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at kdka.com, and maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.